we have the budget showdown that is happening, um, and, and you're very well aware with this, the Obama planning to call the executive order to take action on immigration reform, and um, now the Republicans are threatening to shut down the government um, as, as part of their yeah. retaliation. I don't know. what. Do you it's unfortunate it gets framed like that. If, if Congress passes a budget resolution, even if it's just a continuing resolution to keep funding the government, and the president threatens to veto that, why is it the Congress that's shutting down uh, the government? It would sound like Obama's veto shuts down the government. I mean, clearly, the sides have to get together and come to some agreement on funding the government. And I know Republicans, after their last experience, do not want to get blamed, and they know they are liable to get blamed if the government shuts down, regardless of the facts on the ground. Well, the sides also have to come together to actually come up with a proposal. So if you don't like the executive order, then come up with a bill. You know, you, you don't come up with a bill for health care, but you don't like what, what's instituted. You, you don't like a call for budget, but you, you're not putting together something yeah. well, that I, is. I, I think the proposal that, that's, that's been put before it is to fund most of the government through the fiscal year next uh, September, um, and that the part of the government that's implementing this, this um, executive order would only be funded through March when Republicans will have much larger uh, majorities after the recent election. But Bob, what do you think? I mean, is this just playing this, games? Yeah, well, it's, it's politics as usual. You've got both sides saying, well, you do this, no, it's your fault, no, it's your fault. And the fact is, I don't know that either party, is, the core of either party, is looking for a solution to the problem. In this case, it's the, the immigration uh, bill, but but that's being used as as kind of like the, the whipping boy for the real issue was like we want to win, no we want to win. Well, what happened to the golden child? Marco Rubio was gonna you know come up with a bill that was gonna be bipartisan. I mean, why can't they just put together a bill versus the the calls for dictator or emperor? I mean, you know, Bush had used his executive powers and no one was shouting Emperor Bush then. Well, I think this is on a different scale and this is a different specifics, but um, yeah, it really, uh, you know, there's many people who feel this is a real attack on the Constitution. When the president goes out and says, I changed the law, I mean, that may have been a, a Freudian slip, but that's not his job. His job is to, you know, when Congress passes a law, he signs it into law. And he cannot unilaterally change the law. So I think there's a lot of credence to this. And um, I don't think that the response to immigration has to be you know, omnibus, comprehensive. I think we can pass individual bills that can get bipartisan agreement, well, let's, such as let's strengthening the border. Let's yeah, make it happen. I, we'll see. Yeah, both of you, make it happen. <laughs> <laughs> well, Harris, I know you can make it happen. But uh, now we are finally done, and we will have you on again. Thank you. Thanks for being here.